Consumer electronics entrepreneur Roslan Kogan is piling up the first. He was crowned Australia's richest self-made person under 30, and he's the first Aussie to book a seat on Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic spacecraft. From a backyard business to a $600 million online powerhouse, Tracy Kirkland talks to the man behind the brand. He built his first computer at age 10 and was a millionaire by 24. Now 30, Ruslan Kogan is on his way to becoming a household name. Yeah, look, it took me 30 years to become an overnight success. His online consumer technology company Kogan started in his dad's garage six years ago. From that, in 2011-2012, it turned over $150 million. Last financial year, that skyrocketed to around $600 million. Kogan is growing so fast that we struggle to rent an office because everyone wants a three or five year lease and the moment we move into an office a few months later we've outgrown it. So at the moment we're operating out of two offices, we've got um, a few warehouse and distribution facilities around the world but um, you know at the moment we're growing faster than we've ever grown. Uh, we're at least three or four times bigger now than we were one year ago. It's a long way from 1989 when his parents migrated from Russia to Melbourne. This self-confessed tech geek says he learned the hard way how to make money. There's the golf balls that I used to sell when I was 10 years old. Then I had a car wash business. Then I had a website design business through high school and a mobile phone repair business. Then there were uh, bits and pieces I'd sold on eBay through uni. So I'd always been wheeling and dealing and looking at the marketplace and saying, well, what can I change, what can I invent to bring value to the consumer? With no financial backing, Kogan, the online company, began by selling televisions using a direct sales model. Typically in retail, products go from a factory to an agent, to an exporter, to an importer, to a distributor, and then to the retailer. And every middleman along the way wants their 10 to 20% cut. We've cut all of that out and we're the manufacturer direct to consumer and that's how we really differ and that's our competitive advantage in business. While consumers seem to like the idea, he says the banks failed to share his vision. The banks are very risk averse, they don't like taking risk and they go for proven things like bricks and mortar rather than revolutionary things that are changing industries like online retail and the Kogan business model. So we don't have any external funding from banks. He now boasts a 3% hold on the lucrative consumer technology market and he says that sparked a retail war with larger traditional competitors who dominate the $10 billion space. We're taking away massive market share from Australia's big retailers like JB Hi-Fi and Harvey Norman. When I, spoke, when I spoke earlier about companies that are resting on their laurels, those two companies would have to be you know, part of that trend. In 2012, Kogan expanded into the UK and now operates in 15 other countries. And six months ago, it launched into the highly competitive mobile phone plan market and has already attracted more than 100,000 customers. It's definite that we've had a massive impact on the Australian retail landscape. But like I said, we're just getting started and we're ramping up business to have an even bigger impact. This tech entrepreneur may have big ideas, but it seems the sky's the limit. He's the first Aussie to book a seat on Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic flight.